Hi everyone, it's Sloan Rhodes. I'm here with your spiritual guidance video for the week of October 27th, 2019. I hope everyone's doing well. I did want to give a quick shout out to my home state of California and all the people who are affected right now by the fires and the power shutoffs and a special um, thank you to all of the um, firefighters and first responders who are helping to keep everyone safe as best they can. It's a tremendously difficult job and uh, a very difficult time for many people here in California. So um, I've been thinking of everybody. All right, I also wanted to let everyone know, if you missed my last video, that I am uh, taking down my online courses at the Sloan Academy. So if you've already purchased a course at the Sloan Academy, you can now download all of the videos so you can have them available to you whenever. And if you haven't yet purchased one of my courses, there's how to work with crystals, there's uh, how to work with oracle cards for beginners, and also three pillars of intuition, a methodology for reading oracle and tarot cards. And it's 60% off all of those, and the code is, is final sale. And the last one, Three Pillars of Intuition, is an, a great course for helping you develop your intuition. Okay, so for the week of October 27th, 2019, let's go ahead and get a card. I'm using the numerology deck today by Michelle Buchanan. Self-discipline. That fiery energy. 41, which I add together for number five. We are still in a period of change. Um, and this idea of self-discipline, it sounds kind of boring and it sounds arduous. Like, who wants to have self-discipline? You know, it's always on me. I have to do it all. Um, when's the support going to come in? When's the help going to come in? Remember, you're not exhibiting or creating... Uh, let me put it this way. You're not... Um, utilizing self-discipline in order to uh, stop yourself, that might, it might feel that way. But actually, self-discipline is an act of self-love. Self-discipline is an act of self-care. Right? I'm not going to uh, do something that's going to harm another. I'm not going to do something that's going to harm me we look at that and we think, oh, that's self-discipline. You're really self-disciplined. You, you stopped yourself from enjoying something <laughs> that, you, that you like or you stopped yourself from uh, uh, a seemingly bad behavior. And then, you know, you, pray, you get praised for your self-discipline or you praise yourself. But, you know, it's truly self-love. It's truly self-care. It's truly a loving act. Not to keep yourself from something, but to allow yourself to be in an energy that feels... Um, healthier, that feels more loving towards your physical being, your spiritual being, your, your mental health, your emotional health. So you're not keeping yourself from something. You are opening up more, turning on the lights more to all of the ways that you can show love to yourself. Many times when we think of self-discipline, we think of an end goal, right? I'm going to do this now as an act of self-discipline in order to either stop myself from getting something or, or in order to achieve a end goal. And that, that's fine. Um, and you can certainly continue to experience it that way. But if you back it up <laughs> uh, even more deeply into the true energy of self-discipline, it's about self-care. Allowing yourself to be more in the energy of what you do want. Many times there's a lack when we think of self-discipline. I'm going to forego this in order to get something later. But if you can bring it to the moment of, as an act of self-care, I'm choosing to do this activity, maybe I'll end up somewhere else. Maybe I'll end up with a healthier body or a, a goal that I'm wanting to achieve, more money, you know. I'm not going to, I'm going to use self-discipline and I'm not going to go out to lunch all week. I'm going to, you know, just uh, bring a lunch, you know, and then you, and then you, maybe you're sad because your coworkers are going out and you're sitting there eating, you know, out of your, your, um, 
in your lunchbox. But, you know, and you might tell yourself, well, I, I have to do without in order to get what I want later. You're not doing without in the moment. You are celebrating yourself for taking time to consciously make a choice that will allow you to get into the flow of what you're wanting more. So it's, it's a little bit different. If you back it back, you know, keep backing it back into the energy of what you're wanting, which is uh, a more abundant life, it's difficult to have a more abundant life if you are enacting self-discipline from a place of, I'm doing without, you know? So it's something to play with uh, this week. Um, let me see what else I get from the card. Again, you know, because of the fires, I'm really drawn to all this fiery energy. And uh, I do want to say that in many ways, you're burning through older patterns. If you're feeling like you have to have self-discipline in order to get something, the again, if you back it in to the energy, what you're doing is you're burning through older patterns that no longer work for you. So it may feel like you're having to do without, but truly what you're doing is you're shifting, you're pivoting away from something that felt maybe wasteful uh, if we use the analogy um, of, or the, uh, the metaphor of you know, l having a, a box lunch as opposed to going out to lunch, you are pivoting away from what may have felt wasteful or not honoring the very nature of money, you know, but you are focusing your attention more on how you spend it and the ways in which you're going to self-care. You know, making your own lunch is an act of self-care in, in and of itself. You're caring for self. You are taking nourishment for yourself. You're creating nourishment for yourself. So there's lots of different ways to play with it. But, you know, I'm drawn to all this fiery energy, you know, um, about burning through older patterns. And I will say, too, that with this self-discipline card, I'm, rather than the, the language or the text on the card, let's just focus on the color, you know, related to your third chakra of sexuality, creativity, um, abundance, inspiration. This is where you can really play with this idea of change. You know, how can I be more creative in this moment? Am I open to being more uh, inspired in this moment? Am I open to feeling the love in this moment of, um, of being inspired by my, my actions or inspired by what's around me? How can I be more creative? in my lunch making, <laughs> you know, how can I be more creative in the ways in which I care for myself? Not because no one else will do it, not because I'm lacking anything, but because it's enjoyable, but because caring for myself feels good when I allow it. Can I allow more self-care as opposed to self-discipline? Um, but there's a change here, there's a shift here, and it's really, really beautiful, and I do see with the green, we're going to the heart, you know, the heart, um, is at the center of everything here. So when you you know when you say to yourself, oh, "I have to be self-disciplined," are you coming to the heart of as an act of self-care, as an act of self-love, as an act of change and, and pivoting into more of the flow of what I'm wanting, as opposed to um, building up resentment about what I'm lacking? You know, and you can play with it from that that perspective. Let me just look at what's under the deck. We have happy ending, <laughs> you know, right here. Manifesting more of what you're wanting. Not as your end goal necessarily, but as a result of the actions that you're taking here. It's really, really nice. But I do like to see, I'm just going to talk about this card not from the text or from the color, but just from the numerology here. Four plus one. I'm adding them together for five. We have change. You know, it has been a very difficult time for many individuals, um, myself included. You know, I felt a lot of energy moving through my body um, as I picked up on not only things that were going on for me personally, the macro and the micro always been, um, mirroring one another, but also uh, on a planetary scale feeling a lot of that surging energy. And there's a shift here, there's a change. It can feel chaotic, but I really do feel like we have this, this new energy coming in that's more, more inspired, more creative. And we have you know, the happy ending card, you know, and that beautiful purple at the center and the heart at the center here. 
more uh, more spiritual awareness being manifested, presented in the world more. Sorry, did I say third chakra? I meant second chakra here. Third chakra here, the yellow. Uh, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra. You know, but they're, they're together, you know, they're combined. You know, you have that. If you look at the sacral chakra and you look at uh, sexuality and what can occur with uh, procreation, and then you have the manifestation here, you know, bringing it out into the world, the happy ending, the end result, you know. Um, so that's really interesting energy here. I feel there is a shift occurring. Um, continue your, your acts of self-care, self-love. Ask yourself when you're feeling mired in victimhood or mired in, in confusion, you know, am I open in this moment to seeing the love in this moment? Am I open to being more loving towards myself? Am I open to the possibility that there is love in this moment? That there is joy underneath a lot of what I'm, my ego is showing me is the important um, uh, area I need to focus on. Am I open? Even just asking the question, am I open to more self-care, more love? Am I open to seeing the possibilities of love? And you can use other words for love that work for you. Um, if love makes you uncomfortable, <laughs> the word love. Uh, I use love because it's such a, for me it means everything. It's open, complete openness. Am I open to being more open to more possibilities for love, you know, or for, for joy or for happiness? Whatever words work for you. Um, but by asking the question, you allow for change. You allow for yourself to recognize that, let me put it this way, you allow that there's a possibility that you are not identifying yourself as the situation you are in, but there is an opportunity for more recognition and acknowledgement that you are more than the situation, that you are not the situation you find yourself in, you are more than that. So when you ask the question, you, you pretty rapidly, in that instant, take yourself out of victimhood and into uh, empowerment, for lack of a better word. So I hope that you find that helpful. <laughs> I wish you much love as always. And remember, the Sloan Academy is um, going to be coming down, so if you haven't purchased yet, 60% uh, off all of the online courses. Uh, the code is final sale. And if you want an appointment with me, you can email me for spiritual guidance. Um, um, I, I work with my clients via Skype, FaceTime, WhatsApp, and I still have my video readings available on my website. So if you want a tarot reading um, in video format, you can order those as well. I wish everyone much love, and I will see you next week or before if you have an appointment.